Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Sikandar and today we are going to learn how to set up the basic android application and how to set up the basic professional things in android so if you are new if you don't know how to create android application or if you are an expert so this video will be helpful to any one of you guys and also at the end if you know something else for the basic setup uh, to make it professional please tell me down below in the comments so let's get started so first of all create a new android studio project click on this start a new android studio project as you can see i am using version 3.6 it is the latest version so if you want to copy my code you should have to upgrade your version to 3.6 otherwise you might face some errors so to create a new project uh, select an empty activity but we also have bunch of activities we will be covering one by one so click on this empty activity and click next okay in here at the top you have to give the name of the application in this case i am going to name it city guide app then at the second we have a package name so package name should be unique because in the play store our applications uniquely identified using this package name so i am using the package name uh, with my domain name tamursikandar.com so in the package name we write com dot the name and then the application name then we have to store it some location then we are going to choose it java for the language and then we have to select this SDK so for this tutorial I am going to choose API level 16 and we are targeting 99.6% of devices using the API 16 then we are not going to use the legacy support we are going to tick this it is saying that we might not be able to use latest play services etc so make sure it is not tick click on this finish button Okay, once everything is set up correctly, uh, we first need to change these names so we cannot get confused uh, while creating our application. So its main activity, let's change it to splash screen. So right click and go to refactor, rename and in here name it splash screen. So dot Java is a class so we are going to make it capital without spaces and click on refactor then to change the dot xml go to the resource and inside the layout so we have designs inside this layout folder and we have java classes inside this first folder saying dot city guide so for the xml right click refactor and rename it to splash screen make sure you do not use capital letters or any other thing but underscore and click on the refactor okay so once it's done Close the resource so first thing we want to do is we want to create some folders here to place our files inside that specific folder for uh, easily distinguish because we will have a bunch of java files at the end of our application so to recognize them we have to create some folders so click on this right click new and create a package so package name as we have discussed in our previous video the first overview video uh, we have three main modules so the first one is the user one if you are new and if you haven't watched my previous video i suggest you to watch it it's just an overview of the application and you can easily and get what we are going to do so first one is user then we have admin and then we have a location owner and then we are going to create a package uh, which will be having some common files as I told you that splash screen and onboarding screen will be the common files and we might have some other files as well uh, which are common for all these three users so we are going to place them inside this common folder then we have helper classes and the last one I am going to create is for the databases it will contain our databases folder and the helper classes will contain firebase helper class then we have shared preferences which are the sessions in other languages we have bunch of things in here then databases and we have three modules and a common so for now i am going to place this splash screen into this common folder click on this refactor okay close this one because we are not going to code anything in this tutorial okay the next thing we are going to do is uh, go to resources and go to the values and inside go to the styles we want to basically remove this action bar 
you can see at your right so to remove the section bar inside the styles we just need this uh, styles to be changed from dark action bar to no action bar that's it and uh, one more thing to remove this top status bar as you can see uh, go to the java and inside the folder open the activity which is a splash screen and here we need to write this line Then a comma, copy this one and paste it after this comma. So that's it. This uh, this is for the status bar. It will be gone by using this line. We have to write this line inside this dot Java file. So that's also done. Close this one. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to add our applications basic colors. So to add the colors, go to the resource values and open this colors file and here you can see we have by default three colors primary primary dark and color action so i have my list of colors so let me quickly add them okay so i have just added our colors for uh, this application make sure you do not enter some spaces in here because you will get the error uh, you can uh, add these colors uh, simply by writing color its name and then the color itself then the closing tag of the color so once the color is added close this one okay then we want to go to the strings and we want to add some strings here because uh, strings are very necessary inside our android application because to detect for those who cannot see our application and those who are blind so by google apps or by the android default applications our application can easily be translated so for that we need to write string and also it's good for the play store to easily get ranked and there are a lot of things so make sure you do not use strings uh, directly or uh, the text directly in your design but use strings instead in here so it's simple once your application once you created the strings you just have to call them in your design and it's very simple so the first thing is I am going to change the name, it's this uh, app name is not I am going to use but the one we have our own app name which is get away so I am going to name it logo name then a uh, closing tag and in here I am going to write it the name simply press ctrl plus D to duplicate it and then we have a slogan And also we need to change the names so it should be unique okay for this application it's just a demo uh, we are going to add strings uh, the related strings in each video so and that's it for this one close this strings and now we want to add the fonts for our application so to add the fonts there are two ways uh, the first one is let me open Splash screen. The first one or the easiest one is uh, select the text and search for font or search for the font family. In here, font family. Click on this uh, carrot icon and click on this more fonts. You can see we have a bunch of default fonts by the Android and we have more fonts. So inside the more fonts, uh, you can see you have all type of Google fonts. You can change the source, but I have only the Google fonts. So so we have a bunch of options in here but the one we are going to use is the sans serif so we can easily get it it's uh, already imported in android you can see in here we don't have to add it from the more fonts but the second font i am going to use is not in here so we have to add that manually so for that click on this resource folder right click new and add a directory name it font make sure it is small and you should have to write only font for this and click ok and in here we have a font so go to fonts and select fonts one by one or select them all you can simply copy them and drag them here inside this font folder uh, right click and paste 
okay in here you can see we have one two three four fonts uh, these are the four types of the fonts so now we can simply use them by a brand name click on this text and search for uh, you can see we have all these uh, versions or the variations of the fonts in here so we can use them as per our requirement the okay, fonts also added okay the last thing or the important thing is as i have just upgraded it to 3.6 there are a bunch of amazing functionalities in android uh, like again open the layout and in here when we want to switch to the text section we don't have any options in here but uh, we can switch back to the text from this button or from this icon and we can toggle the preview by clicking on the split we have uh, both the split version and we have also the text version so also inside the text we have a multi preview so this is basically just a preview uh, we cannot click on this image uh, we cannot uh, do anything in here but it is just a preview of this one so to uh, change things or to press the controls or to handle the controls uh, we have this split version okay fair enough uh, in this version we cannot use the plugin as i told you which is the drawable importer plugin for uh, which converts the single image to multiple screen sizes so we are not going to use that uh, plugin because it is no longer supported by android 3.6 because it is not updated it was updated in i guess in 2016 maybe so in 3.6 it is not or no longer supported by android studio so we have to do things manually until some new release or they are going to update it okay pretty good uh, to it is very simple process we have to do it only once but we need to add images for each and every folder so first of all change this android to project view and go to the app and go to the source and main then you can see we have a resource folder open this one and in here we have to add some copies of this drawable because we paste our files in the drawable folder uh, our images and icons are sector and drawable so we have to make multiple versions of drawable like hdpi mhdpi x double x and triple x hdpi okay, for that click on this resource and new we have to choose a directory here make sure its name same as drawable then we are going to start with HTPI and click OK let me add all these folders first okay we have created h m and uh, three more we have created just five folders in here so if we want to add the image uh, how the question is how you are going to get five types of images in here so for that i have a solution in here uh, which is the adobe xt it is a free version you can simply go to the adobe xt website and you can simply download this one so if you don't know how to uh, also create the android studio how to set up the android studio it's very simple i have created the whole tutorial uh, link is in the description so make sure uh, go and check that before if you haven't downloaded your android studio and haven't set up this so again uh, if you want to download this adobe xd everything is in the description make sure you want to read and uh, go and read that okay i have a bunch of things here uh, you can open any project i am going to use the one i have already created it is a design tool by adobe and it has a bunch of functionalities so to add the image or to uh, play with your images uh, you can click on this uh, icon which is the artboard icon click this one and simply we have uh, uh, this iphone here change it to it's just a screen so that's it okay in here we want to drag that image okay we can simply copy this image or uh, you can simply drag this image in adobe xd and paste it here then press v or press this little icon here to set this image okay that's it uh, just set your image and uh, you don't have to do anything more here so click on this image uh, right click and make it component 
it is not necessary but uh, just make it a component mark for export go to this layers in here select the layers and select the image right click and select export selected so click on that sorry about this design but uh, make sure it is it is for android and you can uh, see we have all these variations here so uh, by this name splash screen design the name is at left uh, folder will be created and it, uh, these all images will be created so select the destination and inside the images i am going to select that folder and click on this export icon okay, once it's done go back Okay, in here you can see we have uh, six types of images. The one single image is converted into six type of images for the Android. So we just have to paste one by one. So LDPI. So one folder is missing. So go back to Android. In here we have to create one more directory which is LDPI for the small screens. Okay, once uh, you have created these folders, simply Close this project one and go to the Android and in here open the resources and draw it. currently you can see we have no folder no images and uh, nothing but we want to paste that image we go back to the image the first one is HTPI we have to copy this one simply press ctrl C or the drawable and press ctrl V and you can see we have all these options this one was HTPI I'm going to place it in the HTPI click ok no its name should be splash screen make sure the name is same and uh, we have to assign the small letters with underscores ok currently you can see it is saying we have a single image which is HDPI pretty good let me add all these images Okay, as you can see, I have uh, created a image which name is splash underscore screen underscore background, and I was just added that same image six times in six folders, and you can see uh, by default it created a simple folder as it was created in the Bash Drivable Importer plugin. So, if it is not working, then no problem. We can add that manually, and in here you can see we have all the versions the first one simple one which is ldpi then hdpi mx double x and triple x hdpi okay uh, this uh, this is the way we will be added images for all screen sizes or for all screen resolutions uh, if we don't have or until we don't have any plugin so that's it for the setup uh, i think i already done the setup for that's it it is color primary dark and accent pretty good okay so so far so good in the next video or in the next coming video i uh, sorry for the delay first of all and in the coming videos i am going to speed up everything because i was stuck with something else but now on i am going to create the regular videos so thank you for now thank you for watching and in the next video we are going to create a splash screen and then we are going to uh, move on as we have discussed in our overview video so if you are new to the channel please subscribe and if you learn something new please like this video as well and you can check the overview video if you don't know what we are going to create thank you for watching take care Allah peace.